Hey guys, this is Will Doggett, Director of Training and Development at Multitracks.com, and I'm here at Sweetwater in their performance theater. And I want to talk to you about how to get audio out of your computer or iPad to your sound system. Now, I teach worship conferences all over the country, and the question we get all the time is, how do we get sound out of our computer to the soundboard? Now, you can have the best content in the world, you could have the coolest Ableton Live set built, but if nobody can hear it, then what's the point? So let's talk about how to do that, and we'll start very, very simple and basic at the beginning, all the way up to if you're using an audio interface with multiple outputs. So let's start over here at playback and how to get playback to your soundboard. So in this case, I'm going to use an eighth inch to two quarter inch cable, and we're just going to go right into the headphone jack of playback. Now, a few things with this, obviously you want to make sure the volume is turned up. You want to make sure that your do not disturb is turned on so you don't awkwardly get any phone calls uh, during the service and that goes off in the middle. That would make prayer time with the pastor incredibly, incredibly awkward. So don't do that. And then we want to take these two cables. And again, we have click and loop. The trick with this guy is on these cables, the right side is always red. So you want to remember that. Now in playback, before I do this, I want to hit pan. That's going to automatically pan my click to the left and my loop to the right. So then we need two direct boxes. Now, once we start getting to this point, we're just going to treat everything else from this point on just like any other instrument on stage. So an acoustic guitar, bass guitar. So we want to take these two inputs and we want to plug them into two separate direct boxes. So we want to obviously make sure we go into the input. On the direct box, work with your sound guy to maybe change the pad or the, the ground lift if you need to. And then make sure if you have a button that says like amplifier or input, make sure you're using the right input selector. So then now when we press One, play on this, two, we're going to have our intro, click to the left two, side three, and our four. loop to the right side. Again, make sure you work with your sound engineer to make sure at the sound console, they bring down or mute the click so that you only hear it in your ears. So they'll need to turn it up in an aux output or send it to the avioms if you have avioms. Make sure they have that just in the ears and they have loop in the house for everyone to hear. Now the same thing applies if we're using our computer for this. We would just take this cable and plug it into the headphone output of our computer. And then again, make sure you turn your output up on your computer and make sure your system built-in sounds are muted so you don't hear any click and pops as you increase the volume. 